Hello guys and welcome once again to the iRacing car review series. This time around we're testing out the Renault 2.0 which is the second of our open wheelers or single seater cars after the Skip Barber. This car is a little bit like the Skip Barber, it's a fast version of it as you will. Um, it does make a little bit of use of its downforce, but again, not as much as you'd expect. Um, definitely need to make sure that you carry momentum through the turns and use whatever the car has to offer. It's a very stiff car, as in the suspension is really stiff. Um, can really feel that very direct feeling uh, from the wheel and it's got a lot of grip in the front tires the rear ends very planted as well it doesn't really break loose um, every now and then at low speed it can try and kind of surprise you but in general it's it really behaves well. Another really fun car to drive with a lot of participation in uh in the series. It drives in the Formula Renault 2.0 series, which is its own series once again. And as far as I know, because I haven't seen this season's uh participation, but it's always had a decent amount of people driving the car uh, that again allows you to find a race at any point of the day and to try and at least uh, make your way upwards in racing skill by racing this car against faster people If I'm not mistaken, there's quite a few setups available for the car as well. Even though the baseline is quite alright these uh, these days. I'm very happy with how this feels, to be honest. I had uh, fairly low expectations. I have to give that one away. <laughs> um, I did not expect to have a great setup from my racing's baseline but it feels a lot better than anticipated on. It's got seven gears the car as well, so it, it is suited for very fast racetracks as well. I don't think we use seventh on this track. Maybe briefly. This car is paid content. If you mention that. And I believe it is put in D class or C class. It might be C because uh, Skip Barber is D, so I cannot remember this one. Um, either way, it should be the one you drive after the Skip Barber because it would be the logical step up if your goal is to eventually become an F1 driver on iRacing. It's not a big fan of the curbs, especially not if I take them like that. But it's not too terrible. slowly coming back to me so the next two laps will be the fast laps hopefully it can be fairly aggressive with the throttle so it's pretty much put your foot down and go
tiny bit of a lock up on the inside. Right front tire. I forgot how much fun this car is to drive. So, yeah. Definitely worth a buy. It's a fun car to drive. Participation is good. And I'm sure you'll learn a lot by racing this hard and fair. So, um, yeah, that was the, uh, the Formula Renault 2.0. I'll give a little verdict. Um, and say if you're looking to get into the formula racing um, make your way up to formula 1 formula 3. Point f Renault 3.5 should be coming out eventually on iRacing although I do not know when um, there's not been any release date put down but anyway if you look to become an F1 driver if that's your main goal then I'd say definitely say buy the Formula Renault, get yourself into it, and uh, try and make yourself the best open wheel driver you can be. Either way, good luck, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.